The Green River Regional Educational Cooperative, or GREC, um, is an educational cooperative that services 45 school districts across the region. And so I'm the director of one of the mental health grants that we have there. And we, we are just passionate about supporting those districts, not only the ones in our grant, but all of our GREC districts with mental health. Absolutely. One thing that Kelly and I want to get across is it just takes one person to make a difference in someone's life. And I think the other thing too is, you know, just helping teachers and parents and students understand that it really is okay to not be okay. Hello, my name is Talor Slosser and I'm the superintendent of Marion County Public Schools. And I'm here to talk to you about the importance of mental health. Do you know that in Kentucky, that suicide is the second leading cause of adolescence death? And there are lots of statistics in the world, but for me and my family, it's more than a statistic. I lost my daughter to suicide January the 8th, 2019. She was a member of CAIO. She was a team member at iHeartRadio. She was a part of student government, an integrated strategic communications major and an art major. She was an all-American girl. And for every family that loses a loved one to suicide, they are real. They are more than a statistic. We need to eliminate the stigma associated with mental health and suicide. Still as a society, we don't completely um, equate uh, mental health issues or behavioral health issues to the same as we do with physical injury. Mental health issues can be just as physically taxing and, and, and hard on a, a person's body physically as a physical injury can. Individuals with chronic mental health issues live 25 years less than people without uh, mental health issues. So the fact that the stigma has come down uh, gives people a lot more hope that they can get in to treatment and get some help that they need. And the improvements in the treatment and the approaches uh, are much different. Now we have a much more integrated system. The counselors go into the schools. The schools are much quicker to identify issues with the kids when they're little and, and get them involved. The families are much quicker when they recognize problems with their children to get them involved with mental health services at a younger age. And so uh, that's made for great strides and improvement in the quality of the mental health services. And as, as people get better, that reduces the stigma that's associated with the mental health services. First and foremost, you aren't alone if you're dealing with a mental health issue. We may not all talk about it, but many people have dealt with mental health issues at some point in their lives. Many Kentucky educators have gone through trauma-informed practice training. This helps them support students who have endured trauma or who are dealing with difficulties in their lives. These trainings help educators create psychologically safe spaces at schools that include classrooms, hallways, cafeterias, media centers, and more. Psychological safety helps all students, regardless of their past, feel safe, cared for, and included. And research defines it as a climate in which people are comfortable being and expressing themselves. One way of creating psychologically safe spaces is by listening to our students. Our kids will tell us what's going on with them if we make time to listen. If you are experiencing mental health concerns, please seek help. Talk to a doctor, your school counselor, or another mental health expert at your school, workplace, or in the community. We can all make a difference in influencing someone to get the treatment they need by letting them know we are there to help them and assist them in accessing mental health services. Also, we can help by learning and sharing mental health facts and dispelling rumors, treating those with mental health issues with respect, and refusing to define them by their diagnosis. We must work together to be part of the solution. The Suicide Prevention Hotline number is 1-800-273-8255. Again, if someone tells you that they don't feel good, or if you see an instance where there is something happened to them, a tragedy, and they are not themselves, and they cannot participate in events that they would normally participate in, please reach out to someone. I promise you that every person's life is more than a statistic.